Hello everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play Burger Chef 2. In the last episode, we started off on the city levels. And we're going to be starting off with only nice board. Okay, so you might be wondering um, what I'm uh, decided to do. And I'll call my fry cook. What I've decided to do about the whole like issue with um, the fact that I did an extra level. Uh, I'm only going to be doing up to what level I was planning to do originally in this video. Instead of trying to like screw around with the entire schedule. Because trust me, that would suck. Anyway, only nice board. Chicken nuggets. Chicken the way it was meant to be served. <laughs> sprinkles. Each sprinkle is individually designed and handcrafted by an elite studio of sprinkle artists. Sprinkles. Alright, we have five customer types, including these guys. Oh, great. The skaters, though, and businessmen, so. And, of course, dudes. Okay, businessmen, good. Except this is a pretty interesting order for businessmen. I'm, I'm going to awfully admit this. That is a weird order. For every businessman in the level to have. Also, I need to really rack up those lollipops if I can. Oh, you still need your burger. <laughs> Dude still needs his burger. Like the game is trying to stress me out. Okay. My patience is frozen. Get him, get him. Darn it. Ooh, that was close. For the money power up, at least. I just thought I was gonna miss out on that completely. Oh, jeez. So I'm sorry, these videos are, like, gonna be continuously getting shorter. And let's be completely honest, they probably will be. Yes, I'm not conserving. Yes, I'm not using... Then use that. Oh, she didn't want. Wow, I'm an idiot. Obviously, I'm picking the sprinkles with the money power upon them. Why would I not? Obviously, this free patience is an effect I did not notice was even an effect. Done. Yeah, this video is only going to probably be about 15, 10 or so minutes long. Next level. City Slickers. Salad toppings. Lettuce and mayo is pretty good, but you get to the big salad leagues and you're going to need onions, olives, and croutons. Salmon. I already saw. Big potato. People like to put a little work into the potato. Salmon. It's oven. Business ladies, businessmen, and punks. Great. Please use... Also, today's goal is only 115. Yeah, this video is going to probably be very short. I might as well, like, do some really stupid extra thing in this video or something. Uh. Okay, but this one wants to troll me right now, don't they? Oh, forgot about your pasta. First patience. Mortal enemy. I didn't know punks existed, remember? So, like, well, I didn't actually see that. But back when I originally played the game, I didn't know punks existed. Because remember, I've never beaten this game. I have reiterated on this statement a thousand times. But I've never beaten this game. Okay, service. Good. Okay, actually, to be perfectly honest, these businessmen are starting to kind of get on my nerves. And that order is just no. That's probably the only way you're ever going to awesome service a punk unless he only wants one item like this guy does. I can easily serve him up in about two seconds. Alright, level 55. I say these gentlemen aren't patient. Oh dear. It's not just laying... Okay, powder donut. Why well, add a few sprinkles to a donut where you can dip the entire thing in sugar? Toast with jam, finally! 
to put jam on toast combined, them as shown below. You can also put it on an English muffin, the jam on a toasted English muffin the same way. Okay? Okay, there's dog lovers and punks in the same level. Except kind of I have more appreciation for dog lovers now because dog lovers aren't total trolls. Of course I was going to use the one with the money power up on it. I'm glad we have the old chaps back. They may not be the most patient customers out there, but... Are they awesome? Yeah, I like them. Alright. Uh, well, BurgerBot, thanks for not... Oops. Um... Hold on a minute. I'm like... I'm lost, so just... Bear with me here. So I'm sorry about this little, um... Oh, so he's just toast with jam. Oh dear! That's a bad service. I reached the goal with the money power, but that's the first time in the game that's happened. This will give me a tiny bit of time to think. This game's goal is to stress you out. Actually, that's kind of what I like about it, but... The end game is really stressful. Even though this isn't even the half... Even though we're not even halfway done with the game, this is stressful. Alright. Actually, I think we've read all these. Strawberry ice cream, okay? We have dudes, cowboys, businessmen, and punks. Let's go. Yeah, I may have to do some extra thing in this video or something like that. Because, I'm gonna be honest here. I... Oh, yeah, that cowboy is up for my blood, isn't he? Even though you probably don't want it, it's too thick for you. <laughs> Alright. Unless you know me very well, you're not going to get that joke at all. Uh, crap. Fudge. Take him out of its peel. Oh, I just referenced my Hunger Games simulators. Hunger Games simulators. That probably has to be the darkest and most inappropriate thing I've ever referenced on this entire channel. I might actually link to it. I don't know. I might put a link in the description. I probably will. Except I am going to, obviously... Good, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'll t since I mentioned the Hunger Games simulators, I might as well talk about what they are, because, to be honest, I have nothing to talk about. Okay, so, some online friends and I have been doing these things called Hunger Games simulators, since I have nothing else to talk about, sorry about these. Um, Hunger Games simulators are kind of like, you... I forget exactly who who um, originally made Hunger Games, and seriously, I'm four short of winning. I don't remember who Hunger Games, what, who Hunger Games was originally created by, but, um... anyone actually knows, tell me. Um, but... What was I going to say? We've made these simulators... Oh, dear! We made Hunger Games, uh, simulators? And the Hunger Games simulators, um... We basically just take the entire game... Okay. So my friends and I have added events to our Hunger Games simulators to make them more fun. Some of the events are some of the most vile things that you will ever think of. They range from really just... They range from dirty humor to offensive humor. It really varies. Like, for example, the characters we put in, like, like to cause tragic events and all kinds of stuff like that. Because we're terrible when it comes to that. This is probably something I should not... Oh, no! Uh, that cowboy wants my blood. Alright, and there we go, he swore at me. That's the first time we've ever gotten a one star in the entire game. One more level. <laughs> There's a one star, I've already lost him. 
I want to go through a challenge here to try and go through the entire game without losing someone. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> okay, that's just some pain there right there, but... Pizza with olives, just because they can both bomb pizza. Both bomb pizza and salads. Olives are designed as a dual-class vegetable. I do not like olives. I'm just going to say that right off. My dad does, but I don't. Stop giving me punks in every level. Jeez. Which is kind of why I need to get on... Oh, that's a... You know, that's a great thing. Actually, that's not too bad for a businessman. Steak, curry pie, and these. I guess I can tolerate that. Also, when the game is throwing money power-ups at me, you know... I know exactly what I'm going to call this episode. <laughs> because the game loves giving me money power-ups. I do want to show you something, though. Now, they are spoilers for the later parts of the game, but I am going to show you something after this video because it is running really short. Um, so... Whoop. I highly doubt that drinking soup is healthy. <laughs> I'm just saying that out right now. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Thank you, Punk. Uh, oh, dear! <laughs> These things are out to get... Punks are out to get me, and they both want the same thing. The punks, man, is out to get me. I haven't lost a customer yet, which is pretty lucky on my part. And we're done. But we're not done with this video. I want to show you some of the stats screen stuff, since I have nothing better to do. Anyway, next level we're going on is the harsh si Oh! Oh, we get to go into a new restaurant in the next video, too. Anyway, I want to show you the Hall of Fame, which is a pretty stupid thing to be showing you this early in the game, especially considering the fact that we're not even halfway done with it yet, but this is basically kind of... In a way, this is filler. Um, this is kind of just to make the video a little longer. Because right now, that we're only at 12 minutes, so this video is probably going to be the shortest. So let's go over uh, some of the stuff in the Hall of Fame, because to be honest, this video is way too short. Uh, this is how many custom These are given based on how many customers you've served. Uh, you get a trophy every time. I think the highest trophy for customers is 5,000. This is, uh, perfect levels and a few other- and how much money you've earned. This is also for completing the, uh, story mode. We're not done with the story mode, we're only about halfway done with it. Um. Uh, this is serving certain customers with awesome service. I've only I tw wow, I've served 22 punks awesomely. I've served 88 businesswomen, 44 chaps, 47 mines, 58 dog lovers, 71 skaters, 19 cowboys, 28 cowgirls, 24 businessmen, and 22 punks awesomely, and then the rest, yeah, you'll see later. Yeah, there are a lot, yeah these are kind of spoilers for the rest of the game, so I just recommend uh, leaving the video now, because this is, because I'm just going to say this up, upright, that um, basically the rest of this is spoilers for the rest of the game, so, yeah. 69 glasses of orange juice, 49 cups of coffee. 53 boys of 53, really? 18 donuts, that's it. 69 waffles. Hot chocolate, we're getting to that later. I, I haven't gotten to the point, so... Those, uh, 80 salads. I don't, I don't think they matter. Toys, we're getting to those later. 25 shakes. Which is when you put ice cream in a cup and then you obviously put it through the machine. Um, no floats. I don't actually know what, how to get floats. I don't know when they appear. 306 sandwiches. These include burgers and sausage sandwiches, I think. And egg sandwiches. We'll get into those later. Um, chicken nuggets. I haven't gotten those yet, but you've seen them. Six cakes, which are kind of like some of the desserts. 18 pizzas. 63 plates of pastas. Grilled salmon. We just got this. And then shrimp and plates with gravy. And yeah. And then the rewards are bad puns. Sideways. Soda fountain isn't really anything, though. Um, soup. Period. Um, I've usually got... I, get, I am pretty good at getting expert. So I've gotten 12... Expert on 12 of the levels I've done, and I think I've actually done 12 levels, so I'm amazed. Especially with that one-star cowboy, um, which I think is the lowest I've gotten in the show, in the series so far. <clears throat> I may have gotten another one-star. No, I think that's the first one-star I've ever gotten. Uh, uh, perfect, which is, like, impossible for me. I can't do perfect. As you can see, I haven't perfected anything in Saloon North City. I got some boardwalk and quite a bit in the diner, but the diner's easy. 
I mean, I could do I can go back, like, after the game's over and try to perfect every level. I've seen people who can perfect every level. Um, but I have, but I cannot. So, metal on the challenge. We'll get in the challenge as later. That's at the end of the game. Uh, expert mode. I think all expert mode is is just the game, but slightly harder. Um, I'm not really going to show that off, but it's basically the entire... I think it's... I don't know what expert... I think expert mode... Yeah. Okay, really, I can't talk. I'm pretty sure that expert mode, all it is, is just, um... Uh, the regular game that we've been playing all this time, but it's slightly harder. I think the customers lose patience a little more quickly. More quickly. I, I, I'll play that as soon as we the game's over, and I'll show you that off when we do the first extra video. I'll show off exactly what it means. I think it means the game's harder. Story. This is... Yeah. Um, some... Tops. So, yeah, the story. I've never beaten the story. Even though my name's on there, which... Probably you already saw. Anyway, this is stats. Um, yeah, once again, I'd recommend you leave, because this has a lot of stuff we have not seen yet. Um, what's kind of interesting about these is they're sorted by how much you've served. So I've served 167 large colas, and as you can see, it's pretty cool how it's uh, sorted. I love how they coded it to do that, sorted by, um, how many of each item you've served, except for the total, I think. You can put cheese on soup? Okay. We got 213 five-star dudes. Not one cowboy. Oh my god. We've served 49 awesome cowboys. I will admit, that's pretty tolerable. 12 uh, good cowboys. One okay cowboy. No um, bad cowboys. And we never lost one. And one swearing cowboy. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, I honestly kind of fear a few of these future customers, because I don't know anything about them. Yep, okay, so I basically just did that kind of as filler to extend the video, and kind of to give you a glimpse of the stats. So I'll see you guys next time more Let's Play Burger Shop 2, when we delve into the Harsh City. And then as well, we also finish. We finish the city, go on to a new restaurant, and continue on to there. I don't exactly know how far we're going in the next video. I think it's level 62. But I will see you guys next time. And I cannot wait to see. And already judging by the fact that this is circus. You probably know we're getting clowns soon. Or at least uh, if you don't know. I just spoiled it for you. So ha ha ha. I'm malicious. Okay. See you guys next time. I'm going to be I'm going to a new rank tomorrow as well. So see you guys next time.